to start with, I think they've got to call it something different just to distinguish it from the regu- the old school in-person paper and pencil LSAT. Then you have the digital tablet LSAT. So calling this one digital also might be a little bit confusing. They, I suppose they could have called this the online LSAT or the at-home LSAT, but they chose to go with LSAT Flex perhaps to give it a startup-y tech kind of innovative name, a little bit of branding there and to communicate to law schools as well that they are at the forefront of change and they are being adaptive and flexible. So I think that was part of the idea for the name. As for what this LSAT Flex actually is, it is an at-home online LSAT. The biggest change though is that it is three sections, not five. There is no experimental section on the LSAT Flex and there is only one section of logical reasoning rather than two sections, giving students the chance to be done with the LSAT Flex in about two hours. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.